you're out for a walk, you turn around and you see this. Would you know what to do? If you don't know what to do in the event of an avalanche, you could become its next victim. On average, 27 people die every single year due to avalanches. And most of the time, the victim is the one that triggered it in the first place. There's already been one recorded death this year in California. Avalanches are extremely powerful, maybe more powerful than you think. They can take out trains and even buildings. Here's exactly what you need to do in the event you're ever caught in an avalanche. Usually avalanches will occur right after a heavy snowstorm. This will leave a layer of loose snow under heavily compacted ice. Doing something like walking or skiing on this layer can lead to a crack in the surface. This will cause a complete collapse of the top layer of snow. Slopes that are 30 to 45 degrees are your biggest risk. The first thing you need to do to survive is check the avalanche forecast before traveling anywhere. This will show you what your danger level is in the area that you're traveling to. If the avalanche does overtake you, here's what you need to do. First thing you should do is cover your mouth. 70% of all deaths happen because you can't breathe. Second thing you should do is always try to keep your head above the avalanche. Do anything in your power to keep your head above the snow, if possible. If you end up being trapped under the snow, then you should punch your way up. Wiggle your arm and try to create an air socket if you can. However, if you're not found within 15 minutes, then your chances of survival will go down to 30%. This is why you should always keep an avalanche beacon on you at all times. This device will alert officials of your location in the event of an avalanche. Following these steps will significantly increase your chance of survival. Stay safe, stay informed, and follow me for the latest travel news.